about the use of, in description, songstress, chanteuse, front woman, when describing female singers, because we don't genderize other things like drumstress or guitarers. <laughs> um, how do we feel about using the term front person? Or do we actually like having the femininity in there? I think if I was a female drummer, I'd, I'd want to be called a drumstress. Actually, I want to be a drumstress <laughs> now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a band, definitely, yeah, yeah. isn't it, drumstress? Yeah. Yeah. Of all drummers, Me female drummers. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm proud to be a woman, and I, I you know, I, I, I think you should. I, mean, I, don't, I don't like the term actor for a woman, and uh, I like actress, yeah. you know. I'm it's descriptive, isn't it? It's just a, it's a factual yeah. statement. For me, yeah. it's a factual statement yeah. rather than, you know, just chanteuse. It's, it's a borrowed from French, so... Mm. English and the Germanic languages aren't genderised, but, yeah, those, those mm. are. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you're comfortable with it, then that's the mm. main thing. But sometimes I think we go a bit too far with trying to describe something, going around the houses just, just without... Yeah. You know, you're, you're alluding to the fact that there's a woman there mm. by putting these other little additions, these... these fixes to it. How do you feel, Mariana? I'm just confused by English language in general. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, we have this massive debate about the same thing in Russian language, mm. uh, which I don't really like because I think it kind of sounds really weird. But then I kind of, I've, I'm, I'm, I, I don't have, I, I've never heard any of those terms. So, uh, Are you a songstress? No. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I, I've never, I've never heard this uh, towards myself. So, 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 I, so I don't really have an opinion. I just think that I think we're overcomplicating things. I can't imagine a world, thankfully, where you would have a genre of bands that had people that were black in it. Mm. I just don't really see why it's... I do see why it's a conversation because it needs to be, but because we've got past the point where you need to identify the race of the... Um, mm -hmm the composition of a band so w why have we not got to the point where we don't need to identify the gender as well mm -hmm. so although sometimes it helps because i think some people <coughs> might actually f to counterbalance the people who don't like women singers <laughs> they might love women singers or women yeah. musicians in which case it'll be a selling point to them they'll go great there's women mm. in this band mm. well, i think it's so contextually it could help informative yeah more than anything I think singers is probably the only time that it really becomes more relevant because if, if you listen to a guitarist and didn't know the band, I don't, you wouldn't be able to tell whether that was a male or female guitarist or drummer or bassist, yeah. for example, whereas you, uh, there were bands, for example, like Blind Melon, a friend of mine, it, it took a good five or ten years for them to realise the gender of the singer because <laughs> it is, and I completely understand why, because it's not that easy to spot unless you mm. absolutely... Sometimes Todd Rundgren sounds like Dusty Springfield. Or, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. But I think that singers are the only sort of um, members of a band where it does become something that is identifiable. Mm. OK. Anna, what do you think? Well, I'm just a singer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just a singer, absolutely. No, I'm, I, I'm not really a fan of the the female fronted metal yeah. thing like like you female said fronted already. is not a genre is it exactly that that's something i've always kind of struggled with and openly you know tried to tell people that i think this is not the way to go but about you know i usually say i'm a singer if somebody wants to call me a front woman i don't you know give him or her shit for that it's okay but yeah we can just go with singer I guess. Mm. I think everybody should do yoga. They'd be much more chilled out. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. We need to chill out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and here's something else. When uh, the subject of motherhood comes up, um, it's an old chestnut of how do you juggle motherhood and be a functioning musician. Uh, and for those who aren't mums, do you ever get asked why? I've, ne I've never had any, uh, any negative um, comments, really, about being a mum and, and, uh, and doing what I do. Or, or I, I think I do a lot as, a long, as well as be a, a singer-songwriter and a mum. <laughs> so maybe people in general go, why do you do so much? <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think for me personally, the way I've got through doing what I do is just to sort of do what I do, you know. And, and I had my, my babies on tour with me when, when they were tiny, you know, and I would literally feed them in the breaks or, or give 
you know, my child to Brian's sister and she would feed them in the breaks and they would they would come on tour with me and, and I was on stage sort of eight and a half months pregnant mm. as well you know, in my heels and play my guitar or the side saddle. Um, <laughs> but but I just wanted to, that's yeah. always the way I saw it. I didn't see it ever unfold in any, in any other way. I perhaps maybe had one negative comment when um, I was questioned by a venue um, proprietor for having a suckling baby backstage at <laughs> a gig. And uh, I, I have to say I was a bit hurt by that but um and it made me question everything that i was doing for a second momentarily yeah you being a bad mum uh, yeah well that's how i was i think that's how he wanted me to feel right and uh certainly how i felt momentarily and you know questioned it all the way home um but yeah it didn't last very long because I, that's the only way i'd ever seen myself as a as a you know a woman doing what i do mm. and i think it's just a suggestion that if you are a mum that you've got what is termed baby brain you can't concentrate on anything else you can't possibly be a, as i say a functioning musician um and then if you're not a mum uh, sometimes in interviews it might come up kind of like oh you know you're going to start having a family blah blah, blah. and what's that going to do for your career but men don't get asked that in fact sophie ellis bexter was talking about it on twitter today she's just really it got retweeted a lot she was really mad about being asked what about the child care she's like I'm a mum, I'm a singer, I will sort out the childcare. Mm. Get off my case. I'm Sophia Despexter. <laughs> <laughs> I have a huge entourage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Support network. Yeah, but wasn't her next tweet like, on the side note, can someone babysit for me while I'm on tour? <laughs> that might have been a laugh, hopefully. No, of course hopefully it was. Hopefully yeah. I, kind of, yeah. I did yeah. chuckle a little yeah. bit. Jackie? My son, when he was eight months old, he slept in the suitcase at the backstage. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> That's rock and roll. Mm. Um, not with my daughter because, um, well, there was five years between them and then I, was, I wasn't working quite so much. So I was, um, my mum and dad were always around and my, my late husband then was, um, was very supportive. And I did, and, and I used to, during um, school holidays and things, I used to um, employ a young student who volunteered to do it, but I mean, I paid her. But um, yeah, I didn't even think I wanted my children and that was all, you know. Mm. And they're great. And now I'm getting the benefit. They do things for me. Yeah, yeah. looking after you. <laughs> At last. Excellent. Excellent.